problem number one, we are given with these two functions. And first, we need to find the domain of the given functions. But before that, to obtain the domain, we need to determine the values of the independent variable x. We can see it in our denominator, so we equate our x to zero. For the first function, our domain is x such that x is an element of all real numbers except zero. For the second function, our domain is x such that x is an element of all real numbers except zero. So, second question, what are the asymptotes of the two functions? We have vertical and horizontal asymptote. For the first function, our vertical asymptote would be x is equal to 0 because we need to equate x to 0. For the horizontal asymptote, we can see that n is equal to n. So, we need to find the leading coefficient of the two highest exponents. It is 3 over 1. And our horizontal asymptote would be y is equal to 3. For the second function, our x is equal to 0, which is our vertical asymptote because we equate x to 0. And for the horizontal asymptote, our answer is y is equal to 3. Problem number two, you and your parents are traveling in your own car for 120 kilometers. How, how long will a trip last if you average 45 kilometers per hour, 60 kilometers per hour, or 90 kilometers per hour? We have our distance, 120 kilometers, so we come up with the formula T is equal to D over S. We will start with 45 kilometers per hour. So we have the formula, substitute the values, T is equal to 120 over 45. The final answer would be 8 over 3 hours. It will serve us our T sub 1. For 60 kilometers per hour, T is equal to 120 over 60. The final answer would be 2 hours, and that would be our T sub 2. For 90 kilometers per hour, T is equal to 120 over 90. Our final answer would be 4 over 3 hours, and this will be our T sub 3. To get the average, we come up with the formula T is equal to T sub 1 plus T sub 2 plus T sub 3 over 3. We substitute T is equal to 8 over 3 plus 2 plus 4 over 3 over 3, and the final answer would be 2 hours. Question B. Write a function that describes the time it takes to make the trip as a function of your speed, and the function we derive from it is f of s is equal to 120 over s. Problem number three. A television set costs 35,000 pesos and a yearly cost of electricity of 572 pesos. So in question A, we determine the total annual cost for a television set that lasts for 10 years. Assume that cost includes electricity and depreciation, and depreciation is equal to cost of purchase over useful life in years. So we start with the depreciation formula. Cost of purchase is 35,000, and the useful life in years is 10. So 35,000 over 10 plus 572 multiplied to 10. So our total or the annual cost would be 9,220 pesos. Question B. Write a function that gives the annual cost of a television set as a function of the number of years. So we come up with f of t is equal to 35,000 over t plus 572 multiplied to t. Going to compare and contrast then the terms of the following. So first would be the domain. To obtain the domain, just simply equate the denominator to zero for the first function. We have x plus the negative 2, so the domain is the set of all real numbers except negative 2. And for the second function, the domain is the set of all real numbers. Next is the asymptotes. For this, the second function has no vertical, horizontal, and oblique asymptotes. So let's focus on the first function. So first, we have to reduce the function into the lowest terms, and we can see there is a common factor that makes it a whole. And our whole is equals to negative 2, and this function has no vertical asymptote. Now for horizontal asymptote, function number 1 has no horizontal asymptote since n is greater than m. The degree of the numerator in function number 1 is 1 higher than the denominator, so we can use oblique asymptote. Now we have to equate the denominator to 0, so x is equals to negative 2. Do the synthetic division that results to y is equals to x minus 2, zeros. Let's reduce the function to the lowest terms, and let's identify the values of the independent variables with the restricted values. And we can see here that negative 2 is the restricted value, so zeros for the first function is x equals to 2, and for zeros for the second function is x equals to 2. So let's start with the y-intercept. First, reduce the function to the lowest terms, cancel out common factors, substitute x to 0, and we have our y-intercept value negative 2, or in order pair 0, negative 2. Second function, we have the y-intercept negative 2, or in order pair 0, negative 2. The x-intercept, first let us reduce the function to the lowest terms, substitute y to 0 since multiply the equation of our LCD which is x plus 2, cancel out, and we have x plus 2, and x minus 2 is equal to 0, and the values for our x-intercepts are negative 2 and 2. x-intercept for our second function, f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 10 minus 8. So to find the f of negative 1x, replace f of x with y. Now let's substitute x and y, and now let's solve now for the value of y. So let us divide both sides by 2, cancel out 2, and now we're going to square the right side of the equation. And finally, substitute y with f of negative 1x. And we have our inverse function, f of negative 1x is equal to the square root of x minus 10 plus 8 over 2. Now to identify the original number, let's use the inverse function. So we let f of negative 1x is equal to 254. We substitute it to our x, so f of negative 1x is equal to the square root of 254 minus 10 plus 8 over 2. 
add negative 10 and 8 is equals to negative 2 and subtract it to 254. So we have 256. Now the square root of 256 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. And we have our f of negative 1x is equals to 8. Or 8 is our original number. For number 6, we have a function given by v of x is equals to 3.8x where x converts uh, x gallons of water into v of x liters of water. So for letter A, we'll be solving 30 gallons of water or for how many liters of water. So um, substitute x equals to 30 to the equation, v of 30 is equals to 3.8 times 30. So that will be uh, 30 times 3.8, 114. So v of 30 is over 14. That will be 30 gallons is equals to uh, 114 liters of water. For letter B, we'll be solving the inverse function of the v of x. It will be v of x is equals to 3.8x. Then y, uh, substitute y, so v of x, y equals 3.8x, then swap the variables, uh, x equals 3.8y, and then divide both sides by 3.8 in order to isolate the y, and then y is equals to x over 3.8, and then uh, v of negative 1 of x is equals to uh, x over 3.8. That will be our inverse function, uh, inverse function of v of x is equal to x over 3.8. And for letter c, um, we will be using our inverse function to solve 100 liters of water to find uh, our, how many gallons of water is this. So that will be x equals 100, so x is equals 100, 100 over 3.8, that will be... Uh, over 3.8 so v of v of negative 1, one of 100 is equals to 26.32 so that will be 100 liters of water is equals to 26.32 gallons of water number 7 letter a f of x is equals to x cubed then first replace f of x with y then replace every y with x then x with every y so it becomes x is equals to y cubed and then get the cube root for both sides so the answer will be inverse function of x is equals to cube root of x to determine that this new function is the inverse function of the equation, we plot the value of x, so get the cube for cube root of x, so it's x. Therefore, if f of x is equals to x cubed, then the inverse function of x is equals to cube root of x. So letter b, f of x is equals to 3x plus 2, then y is equals to 3x plus 2, then becomes 3y is equals to x minus 2, then divide both sides by 3, so inverse function of x is equals to x minus 2 over 3. To determine that this new function is the inverse function of the equation, we plot the value of x, so 3 times x minus 2 over 3 plus 2 is equal to x, then x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to x, then combine the like term, so x is equal to x. So if f of x is equal to 3x plus 2, then the inverse function of f of x is equal to x minus 2 over 3. For eight, which explains the total measurement of the interior angles of a polygon with n sides. So the equation is s equals to quantity n minus 2 plus quantity uh, plus quantity times 180. So in order to solve this, we'll be solving for n in terms of s. So distribute 180 to the quantity that will be 100, s equals to 180, 180n minus 360. And then uh, transpose negative 360. So that will be s plus 360 is equals to 180n. In order to isolate n, uh, we'll be dividing both sides by 180. That will be s plus 360 divided all over 180 is equals to 180 n divided by 180. So, that, you know, all in all, that will be n is equals to s plus 360 all over 180 for letter A. For letter B, we'll be finding its inverse function. So, that will be f of x is equals to x minus 2 plus 180 times 180. So, uh, f of x equals to y. So, that will be y is equals to x minus 2 times 180. And then swap uh, the variables. That will be x equals to 1, x equals to 1 minus, y minus 2 is equals to 180. And then uh, distribute 180 to the quantity that will be x equals 180y minus 360. So, uh, transpose negative, negative 360 so that will be x plus 360 is equals to 180y and then divide both sides by, by 180 in order to isolate the uh, variable y so that will be y is equals to x plus 360 all over 180 and then y uh, subtract y v uh, f of negative 1x is equals to x plus 360 all over 180 so that will be our inverse function of the original function so number 9 y is equals to 150 plus 50x so let's find the value of inverse function so x is equals to 150 plus 50y and then we transpose the 150 so 50y is equals to x minus 150 and then we divide both sides by 50 so y is equals to x minus 150 over 50 so the inverse function of x is equals to x minus 150 over 50 or x over 50 minus 3 so therefore in inverse function x becomes the hourly wage or the income while the f the inverse function of x becomes the numbers of students. So this equation converts x kilograms into f of x pounds. So for this equation function, we have f of x equals to 2.2x. So for letter A, we'll be having 56 kilograms uh, converting into how many uh, pounds? So this will be 2.2x equals 56. So 2.2 uh, times x, so that will be 2.2 times 56. So f of 56 equals to 2.2 times 56. And f of 56 is equals to 123.2. So 56 kilograms equals to 123.2 pounds. So for letter B, we'll be 
finding its inverse function. So that will be f of x equals 2.2x, and then uh, f of x equals to y, so y equals to 2.2x, and then swap its variable, that will be x equals to 2.2y, and then solve for y by dividing both sides by 2.2. So that will be y is equals to x over 2.2, and then y subtract y is equals to f of negative 1 of x is equals to x over 2.2. So that will be our inverse function for letter B. And for letter C, we'll be using our inverse function to solve uh, 120 pounds into how many kilograms, so that will be uh, x equals to 120, so f of negative 1 of x is equals to 120 all over 2.2, so that will be 120 divided by 2.2, so f of negative 1 of 120 is equals to 54.55, so 120 pounds is equals to 54.55 kilograms. Thank you.